Hey, welcome to an app that we're going to build here in C Sharp. This is called the Coin Flip app. And you can see the uh, screenshot here. We're going to flip coins and they're going to show up as randomly heads or tails. Now, some of the things that you're going to learn here in this Coin Flip app are more than just coins. So we're going to see arrays. We're going to see for loops. We're going to make a class called a coin class. We're going to put images into our application and we're going to use an if statement called a ternary operator. So here's what the apple is going to look like. We're going to show five coins. So we're going to get this image from Wikipedia and every time we click this coin flip button, they'll flip on a random heads or tails. So the coin class that we're going to code is going to be a separate file. It's going to look like this. It's going to have a keyword class at the top and then there are things called properties and things called methods. And so we'll see an example of those. Also, you're going to see this example of a, of a strange looking if statement. It's called a ternary operator. And it's going to be a one line piece of code that will save a whole lot of uh, extra typing. You're also going to see in here the use of what's called an instantiating a new object. So this is part of object oriented programming. So we're gonna take the class coin and we're going to actually make an instance of it. So we'll have five coins in our game. So here's what the app looks like. You can see the uh, design on the left and the app is running here on the right. When I click the button that says flip coins, you can see that it randomly assigns a heads or tails value to each of these coins. And then in the second line, you can see that each coin has a Boolean value called its coin status or is heads. And that is set to false or true. So false is the tails position, true is the heads position. So, not a very exciting game, but it illustrates a lot of things that you'll need to know if you want to become an object-oriented programmer in C Sharp or any other language. So the first thing we're going to do is set a layout. So if you can do this on your own without watching me, that's great. You can skip ahead about two minutes. So you can see that I have five images, or picture frames they're called, and uh, picture boxes. We have one label and a button. And then these pictures I got from an online source. So I got them from Wikipedia. So if you can make something similar to that, then go ahead and do it on your own. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna make a new project. I'm going to choose a WinForms app with the .NET framework, and I'm going to call it CoinFlip. So the first thing I want to do is create some picture boxes. So I'm going to find the uh, picture box utility or control and drag it onto the screen. Now I want to make sure that this is perfectly square. So I could try to make it square by using the little adjustment handles. I could also just set the properties. And so I'm going to set it to the width and height to be 200 each. So you can see that you can either put in a comma between the numbers or you can just uh, specify them one at a time. Then I'm going to copy and paste the uh, picture box. So I want five of them. So you can either right click and copy or you can use the commands on your keyboard, control C, and control V are the commands for copy and paste. And then finally, I want to put them all in a arrangement. So try to spread them out horizontally. So I can select them all and use the uh, spread operator and it will put them perfectly in a line. The other two parts to this application are a label. So we'll just drag a label out and then a button. And I'm just going to change the text of the button to flip coins. Now this is such a simple app, I'm not going to bother renaming any of the buttons or things. I'm just going to leave it as the name button one. Okay, it's time to maybe put some images into our file. So I have uh, these picture boxes, but nothing in them. So let's jump out to the internet. I'm going to Wikipedia and looking up the article for quarter, the United States coin. You can use any coin you want. The reason why I'm choosing Wikipedia is because everything on Wikipedia is open source. You can use these images without worrying about copyright. So let's choose save image as. So I'm right clicking on the first quarter and in the download section, I'm going to call this thing uh, quarter heads. As you can see, I've already got quarter heads saved here. So I won't save it again. And I'm gonna right click on the other and choose save image as. And you can see that I have quarter tails and I had saved that earlier. So both of these have been saved so I don't have to overwrite them. So if I want to add any images to my application, those are called resources. And the way to find a resource is a little odd. I'm going to right click on the title of my app, it's called CoinFlip, and choose the properties. It's way at the bottom of the menu. 
Now after I choose properties, I want to go to the section called resources. Now there are more than one way to get these resources here, but this one is the a reliable way. It's easy to understand. Let's go check my folders and see if we can find anything in the downloads. Sure enough, there is a quarter tails. Let's drag it in. And then there's a quarter heads. So I've got both of them. So one of them, I believe, is a JPEG image and the other is a PNG file. So different formats, they both seem to work. Now, a couple of things to note here is I don't have any spaces in these file names and I don't have any, and they don't begin with a number. So I think those cause problems. So I just have straight text. Anyway, the resources are there, so I can close the uh, tab and save it. And you should see a new folder in your project. It's called resources. Now I want to set each of these uh, coins to one of these values. So we can do that through the properties. So if I click the first picture box and there is a section called image. Let's select the little uh, three dots at the end and you can see that the resources have been imported. So do you want heads or do you want tails? So I'm going to choose heads for this one. And there it is. And uh, the others, we can do the same. So I'm just going to pick heads or tails for each. So if I would have done this before I copied and pasted them, I wouldn't have to repeat this process so many times. Okay, so I've signed a, uh, a coin uh, image to each one of these. So there's another property that's important. If these images don't display properly, you might have to change this uh, size mode. So size mode tells you what it does with a photo that doesn't quite fit into your picture box. So you can see that we're set at normal. There's also stretch image, auto size, center image, and zoom. So if you go through in each of these, you can see that they are supposed to change. However, it looks like my uh, picture is fitting the box almost perfectly so it doesn't seem to make any difference but stretch image is the one I want stretch image is the ability to make the coin fit exactly inside the picture box you can see if I arrange it too large the picture box changes or the, the image changes to fit the size of the picture box I'm going to undo that and keep going so I'm going to select all of these images and go to image size and um, let's or the size mode and I'm going to change that to stretch image there so they should all behave like I want them to now okay so now it's time to start coding and uh, there's quite a bit to do here so I think looking at the clock maybe it's a time to split this into another video so we've got the layout done and in the next video we're going to actually program this button called flip coins and so all the concepts that I promised such as classes and ternary operators and loops and arrays all those things are coming up in the next video.